Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm doing a demo of an abstract painting warm-up exercise where I show how I make sure I don't overthink when I paint. For this intuitive sketchbook example, I didn't even think about what colors I was going to use. I literally closed my eyes and reached into each of my color bins and pulled out a tube of paint. So I started this with a little bit of Payne's Gray and a brayer and just got a little bit of background down and now I'm doing kind of the same with all of the colors. I'm just trying to get a little bit of color down, uh, a little bit of each color down uh, just to start this off and, uh, and start playing. Uh, the colors that I used for this was, uh, let's see, green gold, pyrrole red, cerulean blue, cadmium yellow, deep hue, and I also allow myself titanium white and black or Payne's gray. So this one I'm using Payne's gray. And when I reached in the bin of red tubes of paint, um, I grabbed pure red, but also had uh, pale pink, which fell out of the bin. So I went ahead and grabbed that and started using that as well. So at this point in the painting, this is uh, pretty early on. This is where I actually started feeling a little momentum in some kind of direction. As soon as I started putting down that light blue, uh, I started uh, being pulled kind of in, in some kind of direction here where I felt like uh, I'll just keep, keep playing with that. So I just started uh, scratching some, some marks in with the uh, palette knife and just started playing and I was not thinking at all. I just looked at a spot and thought, what could I do? And that's when I started scratching. Um, and uh, really this whole idea was to just let my instincts take over and just see what came out of this. Um, I will say that most of my paintings, at least in my opinion, they look worse before they look better. Um, I Usually I'm looking at things going, well, this isn't working out. And um, this one, like I said, started having a little bit of direction early on. So um, I just kept kept going with it. And uh, the one piece of thought that I, I did have when I was doing this is I had to remember to utilize all the colors. So um, you can see there I I'm, I'm, uh, put a little bit of the pale pink down. And then I got a toothbrush and uh, dipped that in some watered down Payne's Gray and started making some drips. And then pulled out the fine tip applicator. And uh, I just, I find that so fun to play with. Uh, making marks and, and shapes. Um, there's just so much you can do with it. So uh, again, I was just playing and having fun. Um, these timed warm up exercises are such a fantastic way to just let go and play and experiment and practice and use new tools or maybe ones that you don't use very often and loosen up and de-stress well you know it's it's also a great time to just let yourself screw up and allow yourself to fail and make hideous art uh, and try new color combinations that you don't often use um, as an example i i'm not typically a fan of using pastel colors or what i refer to as sometimes um, Sometimes I, I refer to them as Easter egg colors, um, but lately I've, I've tried to work with some of my paintings to see if I could learn to use them and, and look at them differently. Maybe mixing them with colors that I use often um, just to see what happens and, and I've been pleasantly surprised. If you don't you, you know, routinely do abstract painting warm-ups, I, I challenge you to push yourself and, and try them. Um, and allow your instincts to take over. And honestly, the two most difficult things about painting like this, um, one is just that, giving into your instincts and, and allowing them to just lead you. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't seem natural, um, but uh, once you kind of learn that and learning to kind of let that happen. Um, it's it's pretty amazing what what uh, what paintings come out of it. I think. And two, you know, not expecting amazing paintings every time. I mean, you'll have some nice paintings, uh, 
but you'll have plenty of mediocre ones and a few just outright duds. And that's okay. I mean, that's it's really kind of part of painting in general. Um, you and, and that's kind of part of the fun of it too. You, you just, you don't know what you're going to get sometimes. And um, I always look forward to, to seeing what, what's going to show up on the page. And, you know, obviously we always hope it's going to be something that's amazing and beautiful. Uh, but, you know, you just have to allow yourself that, uh, to, you know, not, not have those expectations, you know, um, allow yourself the freedom to just play and, and, uh, hopefully by the end, yeah, something great comes out of it, but, um, that's, that's not always the case. And if it's not, you just move on. Um, there's plenty more to paint. So, um, just keep, keep working with it. But at this point in, in this painting, you know, I, I really, um, I think I set the timer for 15, 15 or 20 minutes on this one. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I just kept kind of feeling my way around it and looking and going, well, you know, this little section here uh, could use a little bit of contrast. And so that's what I did. Um, I just kind of kept the brush moving. And I, you know, although I did put a mat uh, down a few times and take a look at it, see if anything jumped out at me where I, I uh, wanted to kind of guide this, overall, the painting just kind of took me where it wanted to. And I just reacted to what uh, what I was seeing, and I probably could have kept painting on this for quite a bit longer. I know the alarm went off, and I and I did stop um, stop the alarm, and I painted probably for another five minutes or so. Um, just again, I was I was having fun, um, so yeah, definitely give these a try. But abstract art is such a fun. Fun style to just really allow yourself the freedom to, I mean, not think um, and to just just play. Really, you can do it with other styles too. Um, I've just found uh, abstract painting is is just uh, a much easier way to get out of your head and and just really relax. Um, so these warm ups are such a fun way of doing that. So let me know in the comments what, what techniques you use um, to not overthink when you paint. I mean, do you listen to music or podcasts or do you set a timer? I uh, typically listen to music when I'm painting. Um, but we're getting down to the end here. So this is what uh, this looks like. I'll move it around in some different uh, orientations. But if you like this, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Otherwise, thanks for watching and keep on painting.